Hi everyone, Healthy Prepper here with, yes, another way to store your Betty Crocker au gratin potatoes that you can get for about 75 cents at the Dollar Tree because of the coupons. Um, just came up with a new idea and I thought I'd show you. So here is the Ziploc Mylar bag, which is a one gallon size that opens or loads from the bottom. And a very easy and quick way to do this is I opened up a box and I pulled out the potatoes and the sauce and I cut out from a box the label and the directions. And what I'm going to do is take one bag, leave the potatoes in the bag, I just cut the corner off so that I can fold the top and squeeze the air out and put one in there. Now, I'm going to repeat this four times. I found that four put, fit quite comfortably in a gallon bag with the sauces and all. And there's the sauce. It's a pretty clean operation. And the reason why I opened that, that bag is uh, space saving. Uh, I'm going to put a Ziploc, I'm going to put an oxygen absorber in here, so I'm not going to be worried about it going stale. And there's my fourth bag. And the plastic really won't help me prevent much from going very stale anyway. It's very, very short term protection. So, okay. There, the four bags are in there. Just laying flush. Then I'm going to take my four packets. Tuck them in there. These are all the same kind this time. I'm wising up. Take me a while. <laughs> all right, and my trusty oxygen absorber. I think these are 200 cc's. Oxygen absorber. Focus. Focus. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna keep these in a, the unused ones in a sealed mason jar. All right. And then we're gonna seal it on the vacuum seal. Okay. We're not vacuum sealing because the Mylar doesn't vacuum seal well, but we're just sealing the bag itself. Now we're checking for integrity of seal. Give it a good tug. Yep, very sealed. And then I'm just going to tape these on the front. Now you do have the option, you can stick this right inside, but I thought it's actually easier for me if it's just on the outside. It's almost like the box that way, where I just read the outside of the box fast, and I know what I'm doing. And tape those puppies on. You can put the date on there if you like. And we are done. There you go, folks. Hope this helps. Happy and healthy prepping, everybody.